Welcome to this Google SketchUp screencast. In this screencast, we're going to show you how to set up your first project. Google SketchUp has been loaded into the Applications area. You can click on a Finder window, go to Applications, and it might be under the G's or the S's, uh, depending on how it was installed. If you go into the G's, there might be a folder, and within that, you'll find the SketchUp icon. It's a little house with a pencil on it. If it's not under the G's, you can check under the S's for the same icon. Go ahead and double click it to launch. When you launch, you might get this keychain window. You can click cancel twice to get past that. And it'll eventually take you to the startup window. Now before you click start up, or before you click start on the startup window, you have to choose your template. So here it says default template. I'm going to click on choose templates. I'm going to make sure that I have selected the simple template for feet and inches. And once I choose that and it's selected blue, I can click start using SketchUp. That will load me into my SketchUp project, and you'll see there's a little person standing here. That's for frame of reference. When we start working with 3D objects later, uh, you'll want to size things according to how tall this person stands, and we'll get into that more later. Google SketchUp has three axes that you work with. You have the green and the red, which stand for your length and your width, and then blue is your height. So when we get into 3D stuff later, the blue will, will make more sense. Uh, some other things to point out. Up here at the top you have some of your basic tools. For this project we're going to use more tools than what's here. And there, are, there is another toolbar you can turn on. To turn it on go under view and choose tool palettes. And in there there's a choice for large tool set that will turn on their floating toolbar that you can click and move around wherever you'd like it. Maybe tuck it off on the side. And like I said there's more tools on here that we'll get to later. Your main tool that you use is the selection tool, the selection arrow. If I click and do anything right now, there's nothing to select. If I were to drag around the silhouetted character here, um, I would select him, and then I could do some other things with that. A good shortcut to know is that any time, if you're using another tool, if I was using the pencil and I was drawing some lines, and I wanted to jump back to the selection tool, I can hit the space bar, and it automatically takes me back to the selection tool. Another thing to know is how to undo something. So I just drew those two lines that I'm going to end up not using. You can undo by going to Edit, Undo, Draw Line. Or, as it says here, a shortcut for this is pressing Command-Z. So if you look on your keyboard, you can press the Command button, which is located next to the space bar. And you can do Command-Z to go back a step in your process. So I'm going to do Command-Z to take out that line and Command-Z to take out that line. That helps a lot when you start designing stuff later. And you can need to go a few steps back. So uh, another thing to point out is your view tools. Up here, and also on, they're also located on the big uh, toolbar, you have your view tools. The first one is orbit, looks like a little 3D rotating circle. The next one is pan, little hand here. And then your zoom tool, let's show how these work. So first the orbit, if I click on orbit, my icon changes to the orbit symbol. I can click and drag around in my 3D environment and move around kind of a circular motion around wherever I'm clicking. So that's orbit. If I want to just move flatly, I can use the hand, which is pan, so I can click and move just side to side and up and down, and it stays in the same uh, 3D area. It doesn't rotate at all. And then zoom, if I click the magnifying glass, if I click and drag down, it zooms out. I click and drag up, it zooms in. Uh, if you have a scroll wheel on the mouse you're using, that also, that also uh, zooms. So that's the first uh, part of this lesson, is just to kind of get you oriented to the tools. One thing you should do before you, we finish here is save. You're going to do a file, save as, and you should save this to your student folder and maybe also to your flash drive. And when you save your project, save it as your last name dash classroom. And when you drop this later, your teacher will know whose file that is when we put this in the Dropbox. So go ahead and click save for now. That concludes our first video, and you can move on to the next video.